interview you, remember, say only good things. Okay, what do you want me to say? <laughs> All right, so you had surgery last week. I did. Prior to surgery, you were a diabetic? Yes, bad. And your diabetes, you took what medicines? I took uh, metformin twice a day, Lantus, about 70 units at night, and then I'd have each meal I was supposed to take 40 to 50 units of uh, Humalog. Right. So total a day, on average, you would take 70 plus 3, 4s, or 12, around 200 units? Yeah, close. close and if I did that and uh, worked and just lived life normally, I'd be, in the mornings when I'd wake up, I'd be, oh, 300, 320 with my blood sugar level. And normal is under 120. Yeah. So that's way out of control. Yeah, it's bad. And your, what would your doctor say about that kind of sugar? Uh, the, he's, well, one of them told me that they didn't know how long I was going to live, but they knew my last few years were going to be pretty miserable. <laughs> this is the I, one with the good bedside manner? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one thing I noticed that I got to say, right after the surgery when you got us up to walk, we, we were in stocking feet, and I got to, something was weird, and I got to where I could feel my feet. I noticed my toes. Every one of my toes I could feel on the floor, which I hadn't been able to do for a long time. Yeah, that was wanna, the next day. We want to talk about that. Do you care? I mean, is that a big deal? You can feel your toes? Yeah. Does anybody get, you get, get why that's important? Let me tell you a little bit about diabetes and my background. I was a general surgeon. And why general surgeons get involved with diabetics is for different reasons. But one of the reasons is they would call me to saw off diabetics' legs. Okay, in other words, diabetes damages the nerves. You lose sensation in your feet and the toes. You bump it. It gets a little red. It gets an infection. You don't realize it unless you look at it carefully every night. And then it gets gangrenous and you have to lose a leg. So when he said, he said something small to me, sounds kind of small, which is on the morning after surgery I could feel my toes better. What that may mean is he never has to have a general surgeon like me called with a saw in his hand to cut off a leg. So imagine if the rest of your life you never have to face that discussion with a general surgeon. I have to take that right leg off. That's big for me. I don't know about you all, but I'm pretty happy. Yeah, it's, 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 it's unbelievable. You know, I don't even care about losing weight. The diabetes being gone is worth it. I guarantee you. You're now sticking let's, let's, yourself every day with a needle all day long. It, it, that sucks. It really does. Do you remember what your hemoglobin A1C is? It was 13.1, the test I took. Oh, prior to here. <laughs> so let me tell you, those of you who don't know, hemoglobin A1C is your measure of how much sugar-coated hemoglobin you've got. And there's a direct, straight-line relationship. Normal is under 6, and every time it goes up a little bit, people die. Your death rate goes up. Heart attack, stroke, death, amputation, kidney failure, kidney transplant. More of that, more deadly, shorter life, period. And 13, bad. Yeah, that was the worst of God. That, they were pretty, that was alarming to them. They bought, that bothered them. Yeah. The nice, gentle doctor with the good bedside yeah. manner said... Uh, yeah, that was, that's bad. That's bad, bad, bad. <laughs> okay, so now what we're describing then is, first of all, let's talk about diabetes. Diabetes is a terrible illness. It's a deadly disease. Number one cause of blindness in the United States, kidney failure, amputation, stroke, things like that. And he had surgery last Wednesday with... Prior to the surgery, if I have this correct, on the mornings, many mornings, blood sugar's in the 300s, taking almost 200 units of insulin a day, plus metformin, etc. And the morning after surgery, we stopped his regular medicines. He went home the day af that afternoon. And since that time, how much insulin have you taken? None. Zero. <laughs> I have some if you want it. You can have it. And those of you who are noticing, I'm breaking my arm, patting myself on the back. <laughs> but this is pretty cool. So, uh, in other words, no insulin, no metformin, and blood sugar this morning? 185. It was uh, 171 yesterday afternoon. 171. That's just uh, pretty good. <laughs> you the man. <laughs> I'd squeeze you, but I don't want to hurt you. Because you got to hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, 
Well, that's that's all. That's what I wanted to get. And that's, I mean, again, a minute ago we we're talking about the dangers and the risks of surgery, and it's real. But if you were to go in and look at some of the other things, what's going to happen to the cholesterol in his arteries? It's going to start to open up. The triglycerides. What's going to happen to his blood pressure? All those things are life saving, and it's magnified in him because he came to us with more baggage. Now the rest of you also, we expect the same kind of benefits. We may not see it as tangibly today because you weren't as sick, but over the long term, we hope and pray and expect there'll be less diabetes, less high blood pressure, and the less of the associated illnesses, which is heart attack, stroke, death, blindness, and amputation. So, One more thing is, um, really ever since the surgery, we've walked every day around these casinos, which has been real expensive. But uh, <laughs> yesterday, I guarantee you, we walked, what, six, eight miles, at least. We went through all the big casinos, and my feet never hurt. I can walk, can I, better than ever before. And never complain. She was complaining. I almost had to carry her around the, the Mirage, I believe it was. <laughs> is, is, you want to comment? Can you tell the difference? And oh, yeah. He, was, he kept shopping. He kept wanting to go shopping. Yeah. And how about before surgery? Oh, he would have. Complain and said, do, do we need, really need that stuff? <laughs> how far could he walk? How long would he walk before surgery? Um, half an hour? A, yeah, 15 probably, minutes? Two yeah, hours? Probably a half an hour to an hour. Uh, and yesterday? Oh, uh, we walked probably a total of what? Eight hours? Yeah, at least. I all mean, day we long. All day long going to different casinos and walking to the smile shop. We were going to go to that Beatles Love thing last night. We couldn't get tickets. <laughs> And we finally hey, realized amazing. we were tired. We thought, well, we better go back to the room. <laughs> All right, well, that's what I wanted to hear, and I thank you, and you're very kind. And we have your legal permission to put that on the Internet? And oh, yeah, absolutely. If this helps anybody, uh, yeah, you're, you're wonderful. What about questions now? Anything now? I've done, I got what I wanted, which is to hear the, the, how great I was. So. Uh, questions? Yeah. This is a different area. Does this help at all with type 1? It does. Really it helps type 1, doesn't cure, nothing cures type 1. Yes. I was type 1 when I had my surgery. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Carolyn Saranac. Oh my gosh, hi, how are you? <laughs> right, how are you doing? What's the latest? Uh, well, I'm still about, I went from 120, almost 120 units of insulin, down to 35. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> And you're type one. That's right. Yes, I forgot. So I brought you. I brought you some stuff. All right. Well, we're gonna, can I talk to you in just a minute then? Yeah. Sure. So type ones, we see improvement, but we don't see cure. But to go from 120 to 35, what's your diabetes doctor say? Um, my diabetes doctor is happy. My A1C is 7.3. And what was it? 7.8. And uh, it's coming down more, but it's my body is having a hard time saying, hey, what's with you? <laughs> what, what are you doing? And how much have you lost? I've lost about 51 pounds. And what would, can I ask your starting weight again? 190. Well, that wasn't that much to lose, but it saved my life. Yeah. Oh. Cool, okay. You look lovely. Thank you. Good. So we'll talk in a minute then? Yes. Yeah, so we help type 1. We've done probably about 20 or so type 1s, and we help their sugars, they help their diabetes. Um, and we've now done, see, in other words, Carolyn's not that heavy, so we've been doing lighter weight diabetics. Um, questions about his care, medicines, blood pressure, anything that we want to talk about? Well, the blood pressure's almost normal. Yeah, so you were on yeah. what for, uh, lis lis lisinopril? Lisinopril, yeah. All right, so he had high blood pressure, and how much lisinopril have you taken since surgery? None, zero. Awesome. <laughs> What was your blood pressure before surgery? Oh, it'd be clear up to that. Bottom number was, uh, would get up close to 100. Uh, the top would be like a 180 something. But now it's like 130 something, 140 over 70. Yeah, yeah. I even saw it lower than that, like 120 something over 60 something. Which one? Uh, 121 over 68. <laughs> oh, wow. No medicine. That must have been when we saw uh, Eric Clapton, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the other thing to tell and say, you know, now not everybody does this, but he was out, you know, and uh, got to see some of the shows and walk around and things like that. And for a, 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 middle, a young middle-aged diabetic. <laughs> 50. 
just turn to Other questions for you, for me, that I can answer? Or anything else that we need to answer? I got a few, but I'll let you go on. All right, go ahead. Okay. But I, I'll uh, ask later. All right.